welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be explaining that how to upgrade to windows 11 2 3 h2 v2 that is the latest version from windows 10 on unsupported hardware now the best part is that you don't need any kind of bootable usb and the only thing that you have to keep in your mind that you do not skip any part because each and every steps are very important and if you miss any one of them probably this method will not work for you so without any delay let's quickly get started so right now you can see i am on my windows 10 desktop and if i bring up my windows settings and go to update and security so i'm getting a message here this pc doesn't currently meet the minimum system requirement to run windows 11 and probably you are also getting the same message so in this video we will be still installing windows 11 by bypassing all kind of tpm secure boot check but before that it's also recommended that you should kindly go ahead and take the data backup however upgrading to windows 11 will not be deleting your personal file and data but still it's recommended that kindly take the important data backup once you have taken the data backup another recommendation is that go ahead and check for update and if there is any windows 10 update available kindly go ahead and update it so now once you are done you have to close it now bring up any of your favorite browser and in the search you have to type windows 11 then you have to click on the first link of microsoft even i will leave the direct link in the description now once you come up here you have to scroll down to download windows 11 disk image iso click on the drop down and choose windows 11 multi edition and click on download now now here you have to choose the product language now this is very important because you have to choose the same product language that you have for windows 10 okay so i have english united states for my windows 10 so i will choose the same language on windows 11 as well then click on confirm and then finally click on 64-bit download and the downloading will now be started and you can see it's a windows 11 23 h2 english v2 okay so it's around 6.3 gigabytes so it may take some time so you will have to wait until the downloading has been completed so now once the iso has been downloaded you have to mount it so either you can make a double click on it or you can right click on it and choose mount and then you have to click on open now you will find all kind of windows 11 files here so what you have to do here you have to select all these files, right click on it choose copy and now right click on your desktop hover up to new and click on folder and rename it as windows 11 win 11 whatever you want to and paste all these files in this new folder open the folder and paste all the files here and once the files are being copied you have to click on this pc from the left hand side and right click on this dvd drive that is the virtual drive for windows 11 right click on it and choose eject okay and once you are done now you can close it so now we have this windows 11 folder with all the windows 11 files and if i double click on it and now run the setup so it will not be running because we have not applied the trick we have not applied any changes but still let me show you if i click on next it will be checking for the update and then it will be checking for the pc check and it will give the same message that it doesn't meet the system requirement and here it is it says this pc doesn't currently meet windows 11 system requirement okay so what exactly now you will have to do close everything now here in the windows 11 files you have to look for the sources folder double click on it and then you have to scroll down and you have to look for a file by the name appraisers.dll okay so just make sure that you have to look for this file only not anyone else appraises.dll once you get it right click on it click on open with click on show apps select notepad and click on ok now here you will find this kind of uh, coding here this kind of encrypted part so you don't have to do anything here simply you have to click on edit click on select all and then you have to right click on it and choose delete 
once you have deleted again click on file and then click on save now you can close it now you go back and again click on setup click on yes and the install windows 11 page will be up now here you will be getting an option change how setup download update so click on it and make it to not right now now you might be having the question that this windows 11 will be updating or not so don't worry after upgrading to windows 11 you would be able to update your windows 11 i will show you by the end of this video once you have selected click on next and this will now bypassing the tpm and the secure boot check so click on accept and then you will be getting this page ready to install install windows 11 pro key personal file and app so yes we want to keep it so we will keep this selected and then finally click on install so now the windows 11 installation will be started so it may take some time so you will have to wait until it's all been done Okay guys, bingo. So now you can see that our Windows 10 has now been upgraded to Windows 11 and none of the data has been deleted. You can see all the applications and even these folders so that indicate that none of the data has been deleted. But now there is no need of this Windows 11 folder and even of this ISO. So you can just go ahead and delete it. There is no need to keep it. And even you can just remove this Win11 folder from here. Now let me show you more detail about this Windows 11. So if I type about and click on about your PC. So here you can see that the version is 23H2 Windows 11 Pro. Now if I talk about the update, so if I go to settings again, click on Windows update and click on check for update. So you can now see that it's updating and downloading the Windows update without any kind of problem. So that clearly indicate that after upgrading to windows 11 with this method you will not be having any kind of problem while updating the windows 11. So that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if you have do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye